Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to chat more about what I do when I'm experiencing a burnout. So what a burnout is, is basically you're physically and emotionally very drained. Maybe you're going through a period of time of very low motivation, just feeling really tired. And that's something I'm going through right now. And as a Virgo, I do tend to push myself too much. So I would say I go through this every couple weeks or so, which is, I don't like admitting that, but I do experience it. So today I'm going to talk more about what I do when it comes to experiencing a burnout and, you know, how to kind of overcome that, some self-care things that I do and things I do for a reset. And see if Theo is here. So let's get this started. So first thing that I love doing is you know just turning on some music, either doing some yoga, um, dancing and things like that, just get my body moving a little bit. Sometimes energy can be very stagnant in the body and I find that having some music always help and I love yoga. I've been starting to do yoga more often now and I will maybe show a clip of me doing it here but I do very just vinyasa flow type of yoga and just usually around 30 minutes or so. And I've been using this speaker, this is from Studio, and I love this one, it's gray and rose gold. They sent me this a while ago and I've been loving using this when it comes to working out, um, even listening to podcasts, music, anything like that. And music is such a huge part of my life. I feel like whenever I'm listening to music, I'm vibing, it makes me feel really good. So I'll listen to some high vibe music, especially in the morning. Again, kind of dancing around, get my body moving a little bit or do a very no relaxing kind of yoga flow so this is what i use and if you want to check out more about that and i'll go to the link below i will share more information about this but i highly recommend it i love the quality and it works really well uh, with my phone it just links really quickly so that's the first thing that i do playing some music getting my body moving if that's something like with yoga related working out or sometimes I do put on my headphones and just start you know, going outside for a quick walk. So the second thing I do is I've heard that your self-care routine is really related to your love language, which I love. So my love language is gifts and quality time. So what I do is I just spend some quality time with people that I love and myself as well. So I spend a lot of time with my pets. I spend a lot of time with Jason, my loved ones or friends. So I don't, my family's not in Vancouver right now. So I would tend to you know, hit up some friends and just ask them and, you know, doing something or I give myself some gifts sometimes, which I, you know, probably shouldn't do it that often, but I do like, you know, getting myself gifts. I love crystals. I like candles stuff like that so i do like treat myself once in a while i find that that's such a great way when it comes to taking care of myself and it makes me feel really good after doing that so the third thing i do is journaling so i made another video just talking about how i journal but journaling has been such a huge part of my life especially when it comes to reset it's really important for you to reevaluate where you're at right now you know what's been kind of going on with your emotions doing a brain dump for you and i will kind of look into like my future goals you know how I've been doing just kind of checking in on myself and you know you can ask yourself some questions like what do you have to release right now in your life what's no longer serving you that's been you no know, causing these kind of burnouts what kind of shifts that we need to make right now so highly recommend journaling again I'll link another video below just talking about how I've been journaling and the types of journal that I have and lastly I really like to spend some time in nature and the weather here has been super nice so when I need a reset day I can just spend the whole day outside um, I've been spending more time at the beach just going outside more walks park and stuff like that and you no know, makes me feel really good I definitely want to do something that's more gentle so I'm not going for like a hike or whatnot because usually during burnouts I get really tired just like my body is super tired as well so just some walks and stuff like that or just kind of spending day at the beach with Theo and yeah that's something that I do and the sunlight I find really helps when it comes to bringing more energy back and you're really kind of cleansing in some way so I really like I hope this video was helpful um I know it's a very short video just talking more about what I've been doing when it comes to resetting my life you know overcoming this burnout and I will say I've been experiencing it for the last week or two or so so I'm feeling a lot better now I do feel like I'm mostly back to like my 90% self at the same time it's always a learning process in terms of how to prevent getting a burnout you know making sure that I am setting boundaries taking care of myself on a daily basis not just when I'm experiencing burnout too so it's something I'm still learning but in the meantime I do think it's very important to understand you know, how to get out of burnout and just kind of resetting everything feeling good again getting that motivation back so thank you for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon